Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Brave Extras video, and we're one day away from, at least from the news, if you're watching this video on Monday, or maybe Tuesday morning, uh, that uh, we're going into the New Vision Plus era on the global version, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about a few key units that you might be looking at going to the New Vision Plus era. So what is the New Vision Plus unit? We already knew, if you, you must have watched the, the global live stream at this point, it's been, it's been a bit, it's been a little bit since that came out, so more stats, an extra spot for e, for an EX ability, and just all around stronger, much stronger in terms of modifiers and things like that. So the name of the game is basically if you've been playing Clash Rules this whole time, you're already pretty much familiar with this with this concept of having an element team. Basically, what we're going forward is we really want to be building. For a certain element because the Neo Plus unit is that strong that you want to be investing in a specific element. So, for example, and you kept by the way, I'm not saying you should you should or should not pull for these characters that I'm gonna be talking about. I'm just gonna talk about if uh, what you should be building on. Say for example, you're gonna pull for the last well. Let's look at the last well here. He's the one the first one that's coming out, and he's a water unit, so you want to focus on your team with water. You want to pull for water characters. So, for example, you want to pull for this Chaos Bismarck here because he'll have good breaks on top of having some uh, the water in peril on top of a small field effect for water. Um, so that's pretty good, right? Dece it's decent enough. It's decent enough. Um, and then if you don't want to, if you want to skip last fall entirely, because you know, there are some of you guys who are like, he's the first one. We already know the first one's probably not going to be the best. He's still good. <laughs> Despite being the first new agent plus unit, he's still fine. Uh, but moving on, the next would like to maybe mess around with is light. Now, I don't know if global, I don't know what we're not, global is going to make for new agent plus units. Who knows? Um, but most likely or the visions is going to come to global because that's like a cloud that's pretty much always going to happen uh, So I'm, I was going to try to avoid talking about collabiness, but unfortunately uh, As of this video most of the new age blood units are collab units. So Stern is a pretty strong uh, light damage dealer If you'd like to choose dark uh, I'm assuming Xenogears is going to come to global because it's always come to global. They've never missed. A, they always, always. There's always been. Whenever it comes to JP, it would come to global. So, Faye is one that you'd use for dark. Be too not too bad, right? So if you'd like to invest in a dark team, you probably will also want to get for Chaos Bismarck because he also has dark in peril. Um, so Faye is also a very strong DPS. But if you do not like to pull for collaboration, collaboration units, there is still. Another dark unit. Uh, do we skip it? Uh, she might not be even be listing it for some reason. They may have skipped it. Um, yeah, it seems like she's not listed. Uh, the what's her name? Oh, she's not skipped. There she is. So here's Snowvinka. Here's a non-limited time dark DPS. She has 100% amp for herself, which is good. And she'll have 50% sword and peril if the Saga Clap comes, but I'm not going to count that because it never came to global. So sadly, I don't know if that Saga Clap is going to come to global. It's kind of like, I, don't, I just don't think it's going to come. But if it does, it'll help Snowvinka's damage out quite a significant portion. And then let's talk about fire. Fire is a very good element for global, especially fire has always been a traditionally fire has always been a good element on global. So if you want to choose fire, it would be a good, op good option because you have this Vaughn here who is the first overdrive character. So he'll be able to buff up certain characters with more damage plus 1000% uh, leader skill for fire units. And then we go to one of the strongest um, Neo Vision Pluses currently in the game. Uh, is he listed here or is he cut off? Oh, here he is. Bosch. So Bosch is a nearest fire DPS. And so this will be like, you know, a few months down the line if you can wait that long. But uh, so 
by the time Bosch comes on the goal, there might be something way more crazy. But I think I, I think it's fair to invest in Bosch. He's strong. And he's fire. He has the overdrive buff. And currently, there haven't been many other overdrive uh, buffs just yet. Just Vaughn, and I think there was one more, I think. I'm going to be honest, I already forgot the other one. I think there was one more, though. I think it was the collaboration. The, re the recent the Dragon Quest collab. I think one of them has it. Um, so... That's basically it. The main meta going forward is going to be amps, field amps, because they're 70%. So if you saw Ings and you thought it was really high, uh, well, it is because JP already had it. So 70% amps are the, the going forward. So you need to pull for the leader. You need to pull for the new inch plus unit. And you also need to pull for the field amp and maybe a breaker if you don't already have one. So that's a lot to invest in, guys. That's why I was telling you all this time to save, 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 save. And I was really trying to get you guys not to pull in those other banners. I was like, I need to give them a fair chance. But at the same time, I'm always saying, oh, there's going to be this new plus stuff that coming out that you really need a lot of lapis for and a lot of tickets for and a lot of resources for. So you need to think about these things, guys. It's coming. It's coming. Tomorrow we're getting the news for it or whenever you watch this video or in the future. If you watch this far into the future, we already have last one on Global at that point, but... You guys really need to think about the future and don't pull for every newish plus unit, by the way. Uh, we're, we're kind of at the point in this game where you can't just pull for everything you want. You're going to have to really, really, really crackle down and only pull for, you know, invest in one newish plus unit and that's it. And now you got to build that newish plus up because it's, they're going to last for a long time because their modifiers are all the same. It's all the same modifiers. The only differences are the weapon and perils that they may have or may not have or the amps that they may have or may not have. That's it. So, oh, and also the, the, the 500 fly attack that, that some of the older um, ones don't have, but the newer ones all have them now. So, all right, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Who are you going to invest in? Is it someone else that I didn't mention? Is it someone I did mention? Let me know in the comment section down below. And like I said, I was trying to avoid talking about the clad units, but there are some that will probably come to global, like, um... Xenogears is probably going to come. Like, I'm 99% sure on that. And, uh, War of the Visions is probably going to come. Ignore the way Abrea, that she came out on JP during this time. And that's it. So, most of the units, unfortunately, <laughs> like, let's let's see if this will show up. Oh, you got a 2 in max. Uh, as you'll see, most of these are collaboration characters. And there are some, you know, Final Fantasy 12 and L2. FFB, most of it's FFB or, um, FFB or, you know, other collaborations and stuff. And then we have the regular, you know, Neowish Plus and Neowish Plus Awakenings, which are all good too. Sephiroth is now at full power, like literally at full power at this point because he has a thousand percent leader skill. He had not, not, not himself, Jet does. But I'm just saying that he has a, he, he can be under a thousand percent leader skill now. Sorry about that. I know it, may, it might be confusing. Uh, he also has stronger mods. He has a lot more stats. He can get up to 20k attack. And that's on the lower end of what I saw uh, for mine. And then he also got the EX4 buff thing. So he'll get a thousand flat attack on top of a lot of other things that I already talked about in one of my previous videos. Alright. Well, that's going to be it. Let me know in the section down below what you guys think. About Neowish Plus. Are you nervous? Are you excited? Are you indifferent? Are you bored? Let me know. Peace.